Hey there. Um, welcome to this art space that we have here in Glasgow. Um, there's a collective of us here uh, from all parts of the world and, and coming in and getting ready to hit the streets and convey some of the messages that we brought here and have brought together. Uh, I'm with, I'm Sai, I'm with Indian Collective out here um, with the delegation and I'm just lending my skills and teaching other people to do the same. Cool. Hello! Do you all want to talk about what you're doing and introduce yourselves at all? Sure! Do you want to go first? Sure. My name is Ahuntakete. I'm from yeah. Ganawage Mohawk Territory outside of Jochage, Montreal. Uh, this is my first pop and um, I'm here to learn about the different climate actions that are happening around uh, COP26 and I'm interested to see how the countries respond to the climate crisis and what are their uh, emission reduction goals. So hi, my name is Carly going at the loft. I'm here uh, with my role at Gunawage Collective Impact as the youth engagement coordinator. Uh, I brought the first Gunawage youth delegation and I'm super excited. Uh, so I think Indigenous youth voices need to be heard more, they need to be taken seriously, and this is the start of something like that for our community. And what are you working on right here? Right here, we're making no net zero patches. And huh. Reject net zero. Net zero is bad. <laughs> Do y'all want to speak to that more or just keep working? Probably just keep working. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> net, uh, I could speak to it a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, net zero is a false solution. It allows countries to continue emitting fossil fuels and greenhouse gases while um, offsetting it through carbon yeah. trading. Um, my personal stance is to keep fossil fuels in the ground, uh, so zero emissions rather than net zero emissions. Oh, thank you. I'm trying to speak to that right now. Long day. Yeah. <laughs> like knowing me, I'd say something silly. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, there are signs. Mules. Hello, do you want to talk about what you're working on here? Or do you want to introduce yourself and talk about it? I don't know if I could explain properly what we're working on. But you should talk about what you're doing with the pop, because I'm curious yeah. about that too. Yeah, what's going on today? Yeah. What brings you here? Yeah. Do you want to take the box? Whatever is the best for you. <laughs> so, Goya, uh, my name is Julie Delil. I'm here with the Kanawaga Collective Impact Group. Um, it's a, the first youth delegation from our community, uh, Kanikaha community, uh, in, from Kanawake, which is um, in Canada, it's uh, South Shore of Montreal. And so we're here with our group of four Kanawake um, Roni youth, and we're here at COP um, to learn more about how we can bring back some of this knowledge to our community to help um, in the adaptation for climate change. And what's, it, what's that feel like to be here? As a representative of your community, um, it's it's really humbling. I think is what I've figured out today. It's a lot of people that have so much knowledge and are doing such great things, big things like this, for example. And we're just honored to be invited to some of the yeah, things and learn from people that have a lot of knowledge and be invited to participate in some meetings and and yeah, I'm hopefully representing my community and able to share with them when I get back. Well, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my hair. No, that's okay. Here. Did you want to talk about who you're with and what brought you out here? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, what do you want me to say? Oh, this is if you want to introduce yourself, talk about who you're with, why you're out here, just whatever you really want to say. It's kind of up to you, you know. Hi, my name is Karakineta. I'm Bear Clan. I'm from Gahnoage. I'm here with uh, our 
youth delegation from Bakalage. It's the first one in history, so we're hoping to keep it going throughout the generations to come. Um, we think our voice is pretty strong um, because we need to be at the table for climate change. It's, we're the seventh generation, we're the year for the change, like we're part of the change to come. So we want to make sure our voices are heard and the next generation's voices are heard. And what does it feel like to be here? Um, it feels kind of like um, out of place, I guess, because it's such a colonial institution and we're coming here with our traditional knowledge, so it feels a little bit like uh, imposter syndrome, I suppose. <laughs> so, but I mean, like, we're supposed to be here, like, we're, it's, it's, you know, we're custodians of this land, so we should be the caretakers in the forefront of this, and we're just not there. It's so evident with climate change, so. <laughs> right Thank you so much. <laughs> Do you want to talk about? Sure, we're, we're painting a banner that's going to say. Well, let me come to the other side here. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we are painting the No Net Zero banner because uh, a big part of where, where we're at at COP26, COP26 is uh, a trade negotiation. It's a negotiation between some of the biggest polluters on the planet, the oil and gas companies, the coal companies, the utility companies, and the bankers that finance them, and the investors that finance them. And a negotiation over how to mitigate damage to their profit margins so that they can keep on polluting, keep on profiteering off climate change without actually having to reduce their emissions. What net zero emissions means is that these companies get ways of avoiding real emissions reductions by investing in offsets, bogus uh, techno fixes like carbon capture and storage, nuclear power, which we know are harmful, just as harmful as the dirtiest of the fossil fuels. They harm the Diné people down in, uh, in the U.S. Southwest, the radioactive waste sites. They're creating a global waste dump on the lands of uh, uh, Navo and uh, Hopi uh, sisters and brothers and, uh, and uh, many others, Pueblo Nation and many other folks who are, who are the recipients of radioactive waste from nuclear power plants, they're going to see tenfold increase in this poisonous uh, radioactive waste that doesn't go away for thousands of years. Similarly, there's other communities facing biomass burning and waste incineration. There's communities facing mega dams displacing them off their traditional lands all over their planet. All of this is uh, under the auspices of net zero that is being brokered inside the, uh, as part of the climate, uh, Paris Climate Agreement. And uh, we're here to say that no more net zero nonsense. The net zero is, is amounts to corporate subsidies, amounts to handouts to the biggest polluters, and ways for them to keep making money using their political shills, uh, the, the Bidens and the, you know, uh, all the prime ministers and presidents of the colonial nation states around the world that are here serving the billionaire class and their financiers and their, and their, and their war industries uh, that they profit from as well. And uh, that uh, they need to turn and start serving the people and not, and not the profiteers, that they need to start following democratic mandate and, and that they need to start respecting the oldest living nations on this world whose, uh, whose lands uh, many of these colonial states uh, still occupy. Uh, and uh, until, something we say is until we have uh, like the real solutions pathways to climate justice involve black liberation, involve indigenous nationhood, involve, involve grassroots feminism. And such intertwined strategies is what's going to really okay. help us serve the, the defense of Mother Earth uh, more than mm -hmm. anything. Certainly not net zero emissions. So until the, uh, the political shills in the UN start serving these, the agenda of the earth and all her uh, most oppressed and most harmed peoples, uh, we're not going to we're not going to make any headway on climate action. You know, it has to be front lines first, and the democratic priorities of frontline communities first and foremost before any of the moneyed uh, transactional governments um, have a say and, and in which di direction we all need to move for the future of our grandchildren. Thank you. Well, I can't let you get back. Oh, did yeah. you introduce yourself? Did you want to? It's up to you. It doesn't really matter. Ananda, the Just Transition Alliance, It Takes Roots Alliance, and also Climate Justice Alliance. Okay. I'll let you work. Thank you so much.
pretty walking around here. Let's see, there's more banners. Real solutions, real reductions. Did you want to talk at all? I didn't. Yeah. Huh? Did you want to talk about what about being here at all? Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I just wanted to bring you out here really quick. Again, we're in Glasgow, Scotland. We're going to be here, I guess, the whole hop. Uh, this is just a little bit of what's going on. Again, this is going on all over the city. People are going to different events. This is an art build. You know, hopefully we'll be seeing these banners and different art pieces that are being created right now and different actions and different protests and different sort of events to uplift the voices of indigenous people throughout the week. So this is just one of the things that we'll be seeing. We wanted to bring you here live uh, just so you can kind of see it for yourself. Again, if you're following along too, you'll see that our director of climate, the climate justice campaign, Jade Begay, was on a panel uh, speaking truth to power earlier today. You can look at the feeds, you'll, you'll see that conversation. There are some people who come here to do like talking. Oh, sorry. I'm not going to stay out too long. I kind of want to. So this is a giant round banner. I don't know if it's going to be round again. Yeah. Around the other side. This is just painted. With a smaller table. Just like off again. You can see this banner right now. Um, they've, they've, I think they're outlined the no war, no warming hashtag at the bottom. Yeah, if you've got a big banner, it's projector key. You can see the, the outlines, right? So again, right now they're just trying to make this bottom outline put on the banner, but earlier they had it uh, smaller so you could see where they outlined the, the stencil. And that's how this banner was made too. So you can look over here. This is uh, projected on the wall. They made a stencil of it, then they had a group of people paint it. I tried to film a time lapse of it. We'll see if it worked out here in a little bit. Again, uh, my name is London Sosedana. I am the technical media director here at the Indian Collective. My pronouns are they, them. I'm Chicanx. Uh, really excited to be able to bring you to this art build in Glasgow, Scotland. For you to basically see how you know, people are doing it everywhere. There's been this uh, indigenous youth contingent here and uh, our contingent here. And there's also other indigenous contingents. We're looking forward to being live at the, the march on the 7th, which will be an all-day march. And there'll be uh, hopefully a lot of contingents from all over the world that we'll be able to speak to, uh, you'll be able to hear from. So keep following along here at the Indian Collective. Uh, hit like, follow, share, subscribe, get alerted. Again, we'll be on the ground in Glasgow for, uh, I think, well, at least I'll be here for uh, eight more days, nine more days. And then uh, the other team will continue to be here as well. So this, we'll be giving you on the ground updates. Tomorrow we'll be in the streets. Today we're in a building. I'll show you the outside. It looks like a big, huh? Ooh, you can't tell. It just looks like a building. Not important. All right. So let me try to talk to you. one more person, I think, and then we'll call it. Uh, just again, just want to bring you in really quick, show you what's going on, and then uh, take the feed down and get back to work building banners and sharing stuff. I think they're trying to get this centered. No war, no warming. U.S. militarism, number one polluter, killer, colonizer. Ooh, yeah. Is that?
Sorry, did, you, did you want to talk about what you're working on? Oh, here? I make a little uh, yeah. Hello, I'm Karina Berry. I'm the managing director of Indian Action with Indian Collective. And I'm just here at the Art Build um, with all these other dope indigenous folks. And right now we're working on centering, um, uh, the, we're, we're trying to make a stencil for a banner. And so you see me tediously trying to fit no war, no warming in this um, kind of demilitarizing um, uh, the you know climate work um, here. But we also have done this to a number of other banners that are my EWG um, and our two-spirit LGBTQIA plus relatives ra ra raising awareness um, to, to violence against our, our relatives, especially the connection to ex the extractive industry um, and extractive um, projects. Um, and like others have said, um, creating banners around um, addressing false solutions and really just trying to amplify our messaging and our demands. Um, and I guess what I'm loving is like in this space, uh, it's a lot of frontline organizers and folks who are on the ground. Um, and just like with POP, it's really, it can um, be a space that's not accessible or equitable for everyone to, to be a part of negotiations, to be inside and within that space. But here in spaces like this, we can come together and organize around our shared fight, you know, our shared goals, um, and really be able to bring um, strong, strong art into the streets um, so that these world leaders and um, electeds and corporations that are coming here for the summit can like really see our message pretty very strong. And so, so yeah, that's what I'm doing, trying to help create good solid banners. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I just wanted to say hello, I'll let you get back to work. Thank you. All right, I think that that's it. That's gonna be the live for now. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a little more shots of this painting. Yeah. Um, and somebody tracked that little thing, so we scrubbed it off the floor. That's probably me. Make sure you're not tracking paint. I think it was me. Oh, yeah. Looks like we were trying to track paint. We've got a little paint tracking. I expect it. <laughs> so we're just looking a little bit, just going to get some footage of people working on these stencils. And then we're going to go, uh, you can keep, uh, if you have comments and stuff or questions, drop them in the chat. I'll try to get to them later. We'll get to them later on in the week. Again, we're going to be here all the whole time on the, in Scotland, in Glasgow. All right. Again, I'm about to go down. Just showing you some banner stuff. Did you want to talk about specific help? Yeah, we're live right now. <laughs> yeah, we can do it. We can do it Friday. I, I'll be live later on too. No yeah. Yeah. It's up to you. I, I know it's on the moment. I just don't know where we're at. Like, what is this place? Is that okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're gonna talk to somebody from here, right? You're from. I'm the manager. You're the manager of this space? Yeah. So where is this space located? Because people are watching in the United States right now, they'll probably don't even understand where we're at, so. Um, okay, so am I live now? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, this is Civic House, which is a Victorian warehouse building, originally a print press. Um, it used to print uh, trade unionist pamphlets and posters, so it's got a really nice legacy of uh, activism, actually. Um, mm. And we bought the building in 2017 and we have been redeveloping it as a cultural venue and community art space and we have a canteen, 
and a space upstairs that we're developing into a co-working space. Um, and we run all kinds of different events from things like this, so like kind of arts-based stuff, talks and conferences and more professional events as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, our, our sectors are mainly kind of culture, arts and the social enterprise sector, um, third sector. Well, in Glasgow, so. yeah. What does it feel like to have all these, I guess, indigenous people here making it's banners? Really nice. Yeah. Um, we've been closed since March 2020, since COVID. Yeah. Um, this is really the first major, um, like, public event that we've been hosting, and it feels so nice to have people here enjoying the space. Yeah. So we've been spending a lot of time redeveloping it. So we've. Um, fundraised uh, to retrofit the building to up to passive house standards so basically the idea is bringing it up to um, energy net positive so it starts producing more energy that, than it consumes so it is a sustainability project as well as a kind of cultural venture um, but it really comes alive when people are in it like that's that's why we're doing it we um yeah we do it for, for this type of thing and it's so nice to connect with people from other places as well. I feel like since Covid Glasgow has kind of shut down and mm -hmm. become very insular and not been able to make the same connections we normally would have and yeah having people from all over the world is so special. So yeah. Right. And this is it like a website or anything where we want to check it out check it out online or um so the company um that runs it we're a community interest company um we're called Agile City so you can find out more about us at agile-city.com um, and then Civic House is its own website which is civic-house.com. All right, wonderful. Thanks for talking. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going home. Yeah, yeah, very impromptu interview. But it was great. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. So let me learn a little bit about the space we're in. Thank goodness people are sharing space with us. Everywhere we go, it's always, space is always a premium, is my, my experience. Unless we're in, you know, the woods or the, the plains or the hills or the mountains. And we're just in the mountains. But when you're in the city, space, premium. All right, well, I think I'm going to take this down. Everyone wants to keep working. No one, no one's even talking to me now. Anyway, there's, there's working on these banners and no net zero. You know, we heard about the net zero stuff a little bit. The false solutions that are being promoted at COP that people are trying to at least get our foot, our voices in the door, so people can think about what that really means for the frontline communities who are experiencing climate change right now, already experiencing climate change. But again, my name is Lorenzo Serna, director of tactical media here. You can't see me. I'm behind the camera. Pronouns, they, them. Keep going. Thanks everyone for being here. Thanks for, for joining us.